couldn't have two more different heavenly bodies than the sun and the moon. The sun's diameter is 864,000 miles and it's 93 million miles away from the earth. The moon's diameter is 2,160 miles and it's a mere quarter of a million miles away. But amazingly, they seem to us almost exactly the same size. When there's a solar eclipse and the moon passes in front of the sun, the 2,000 mile diameter moon covers almost exactly that 864,000 mile diameter of the sun. From where we are in space, the sun and the moon look identical. Isn't that a bit strange that our planet Earth is located in one of the only places in the entire universe where the sun and the moon look exactly the same size? The Torah describes the creation of the sun and the moon thus. God made the two great luminaries, the great luminary to rule by day and the small luminary to rule by night. In the first part of the verse, the Torah refers to both the sun and the moon as Hamaros Hagdolim, great luminaries. In the second part of the verse, it calls the moon Hamaor Hakaton, the small luminary. Rashi explains that God created both the sun and the moon equal. But the moon, so to speak, complained that two kings cannot share the same crown, so Hashem told the moon to make itself small. Every month, the moon gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it vanishes completely. Now, seeing as the moon was created as a luminary and its entire reason to exist is to shine, when it no longer radiates light, it's as though it is no more. Thus. The new light of the new moon is a light that never shone before. The new moon is quite literally new, and that original decree of diminution does not apply to it. So this new moon has the potential to grow to its former greatness, as it says in the prophet Yeshayahu, Isaiah, For hoya, o halavana ka'o hachama. A day will come when the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. In the ceremony of Kiddush Levana, the sanctification of the moon, we say, Shegam heim asidim leschadesh kamosa, that we, the Jewish people, will be renewed in the future, just like the moon. Like the moon, we will arise from nothing. The Jewish people are the people of the moon. So many times in our history, we seem to be on the point of vanishing completely, of extinction vanishing into the darkness, and we rise time and time again like the moon. Tisha B'Av, the 9th of Av, is the Jewish people's national day of mourning, a day of utter destruction, of utter darkness. And it is from that total nothingness, like the darkness of the moon, that our redemption will come. Could it be that the uncanny visual similarity of the size of the sun and the moon is a promise to the Jewish people written in the stars? <laughs>